Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Yes, we're always um, at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. As you know, that you know our videos, we are you know we have um, you know like powerpoints just to show you know to show our viewers and sub loyal viewers and subscribers and those who are new to the cha um, channel, you know to get an insight of what we are all about here. You know, um, delivering the content. You know, by using um, photographic evidence with a thumbnail. So right now, um, there's an incident that happened in St. Thomas this week. Yes, um, with a, a GLP um, representative, a man who, the man who wants to be the counsel for that um, era in St. Thomas by the name of Dean Jones. I you know that, um, and to you, upper left, that's the farmer, min um, minister, of national security um peter bunting you know that um we know that peter bunting is an unconscionable liar i know that he has um if i'm if if a man can in his own party lied on another member to let that member lose his his united state visa that is philip parliament that goes to show you that person is not only evil but wicked so you know that person is not a person that you can be, that can be trusted by anyone, whether man, woman, child, or anyone. Peter Bunting is a epitome of an evil person. Yes, nothing good about Peter Bunting. Only the oxygen that he is he has to breathe out of his body. So you know that the um, the PMP. Yes, yeah, so um, we're gonna show you some videographic evidence. It's proof that the PMP criminal organization members are the the epitome of liars with no shame so right um so you look at the the video um the the still photo right there you see the man that's in the turban um yeah he's a rasta man we're not gonna call his name but the man in front of him yeah that is his father his father name is wayne yes wayne yes his father name is wayne and you know that um we end to call him Rygin. Yes, Rygin. Yes, Rygin. And Rygin is a PMP activist in St. Thomas. And this is a man, he's a, he's a career um, criminal. Yes, um, this is a man who has been to jails and prison several times. He's known to the police as a troublemaker. And you know that um, Peter Bunty that came out in support of this man saying that the man was at his business place. But you have to understand, you know, you see in life, Remember, you know, they say, if you fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I am from a PMP community and they cannot fool me. P, right? Full stop. I know these people, they are narcissistic people. They have been trained, domesticated, cultured, nurtured, socialized to be liars. Yes, that's how it is in my community where I was born and raised. Yeah, Jonestown and Anik Garden. You're not supposed to be honest. You're supposed to be a liar. Yes, in that community, in the PMP enclave, what the trainer, first in the trainer, as you have sense, first person, the first people in authority you must eat is the police because they are the ones who contribute to all of your problems in your life. Why you don't live uptown, why you don't have in a nice house and a car and them thing there. In which, that is what the PMP, in the PMP community, they impart to you because they want you, so there's, preparing you enough to become a criminal from the get-go nothing positive and that's why most of the youths them end up 
in prison or the departure long. And to them now the system is fighting against them. So what they use now the women um you know the women that they are the real parasites in Jamaica. Yes, especially in um, some of them in the ghetto. Or I should say a majority of them. So what they do now they use um the women now to make noise whenever you know police kill them or the security forces when these people are killing people. So I want you to watch this watch we're gonna show you two videos from two different angles. One of the angles, I don't know, I haven't. One of the angles, I haven't seen it in the public domain, but I had received this um, via text. Yeah, Reagan. Reagan is the man who is in the red, and the man in the green that is Dean Jones. Yes, Dean Jones. That's the man in the green. So I want you to watch um, both videos, and we're gonna give you our take. You know. Um, Oh, you know, Reagan, the, the, this man, this PMP man is such a lucky person. So, you watch, you listen, you decide. Yeah, so we're going to narrate the video for you. So, as you look to your left on the, script, um, left on the, the, the video, that's Reagan. Reagan, yes, that's the man that, um, the PMP activist, the man that's sitting in the up, uh, sitting on the white wall. The vehicle that drove in, that is the vehicle driven by the aspirant um jlp counselor that's um mr dean jones yes so you can see that he it um it drove in so watch now this is the man in the um red red um t-shirt that man is a known troublemaker to the police in st Thomasin and he's a known political activist uh this is man has been to prison before he's a convicted um felon Yes, he has been to prison and he's a regular at jail. In uh, you know, going to jail in um, in St. Thomas. You understand? So, so look now. So you see that man now with the turban. That is his son. So his son now is about to attack. Yes. So see you now when you look. Um, that's Dean being attacked there and he pulled his firearm. And I can tell you that um, we're telling you from. Our perspective of a former detective that yeah man Reagan and him son Reagan is very lucky because we're telling you as a former detective it was us coming out of the vehicle because more we don't know what was said but based on the fact that um we just to tell you you know because based on the fact what is happening in Jamaica if Mr Mr Jones wanted to kill Reagan because Based on information received, he did not even know Reagan. I know that Reagan was a um, a PMP activist or anything like that. But you can't say the man drove in. The business place is not Reagan's business place. It's um it's his family's business place. And um, we understand that the based on the information received from the police, the man name is um Iceberg. Iceberg which is um yeah, Iceberg, which is um Reagan Big Brother. Yes, so it's not Reagan's place. Reagan don't have the place. But the videos that was sent out, um, the first one, was sent, it was doc doctored, you know, by his nephew. Yes, Reagan, um nephew. We're not going to call his name because, you know, everything is just a family thing. But we just want to make the audience know what is happening. But we can tell you now, um, yes. So we can say Mr. Reagan can count his stars. He's a very lucky man. Because if it was us, yes, when we say us, we to, based on uh, our experience, we can tell you, based on international laws of self-defense. And that, remember that, you know, Reagan is the one who was the provocateur. He's the one that's provocate the man. And you understand, if Mr. Jones, wa if Mr. Jones wanted to kill him, uh, Mr. Jones had to do when he exit the vehicle because it is simply you know, Mr. Yeah, where does I tell you as a detective that um, Reagan told him, hey, come out of the come out of the van, in a boy. Or else may I shoot you. Not seen on the gun, knowing how Jamaica is a violent place. So what Mr. Jones would have done, he would have pulled his gun, hugged him up. Yes, man, hug up Reagan, shot him twice. Straight to the departure lung, justify homicide. Yeah, we well, tell you, that's how it is by law. 
because the most important thing that's why he would have discharged his firearm is a thing called fear. So fear would have driven him to discharge both rounds to make sure to prevent the the threat from from him continuing his threat because he told him that he was gonna shoot him and he would believe that he have a gun because this is Jamaica, you know. Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. Two out of three persons in Jamaica have an illegal gun, illegal firearm. Whether or not you want to believe it, whether it's rifle or handguns. Yes, it's not like when I was there. And when I was there, it was dangerous. Imagine now. Trust me, you know. You understand? It's most a rifle. So, we continue the journey. So, in this eye-opening um, video, we delve into the shocking story. You know, we delve into the shocking story of, um, you know, Dean Jones. You know, and our, um, the JLP aspirant who wants to be counsellor in St. Thomas. You understand? So, you know, we uncover undeniable evidence that further exposes the shameless lies of Peter Bunting. Yeah, man, see him there? Peter Bunting is shameless. Yeah, Peter Bunting is an epitome of a patholo pathological liar. Believe another liar because they are not an honest liar or criminal minded person in this world. So, we are telling you that there's no honest liar. And there is no honest criminal minded person. Peter Bunting is the epitome of a pathological liar. And so is the PMP criminal organization. That's how they operate. I, and they haven't changed. So we have been begging the, the supporters of this criminal organization. Because we have no stake in it. You know. we're, we're just all about Team Jamaica. For them, they are the ones who have to demand change. But we know it's it seems like these people them love the criminality, them love the killing, them love all of these things and the lies. So no wonder why um these women, the men that they talk to are liars and all these things. Because if you if you mix with dog, you must wake up with flea. So moving on. So as we tell you already that um Peter Bunting, so we, you know, evidence further exposes the shameless lies of Peter Bunting and the PMP criminal organization. Through the power of videography, we shed light on the truth that liars can never escape. Unsurprisingly, individuals lacking any moral integrity, yeah, man, Peter Bunting, that, and others within the this criminal entity, disguised as a political party, would continue to operate without shame. So you know, sir. Criminal are not shame, you know. Criminal minded people are not shame, you know. Liars have no shame, you know. You understand? People in you know, this day and age, you do not think that people would think about their reputation, them character, and them intent. No, not the PMP criminal organization. They have to live to them true self, criminality, liars. You know, well, I don't know how them do it, but them not no shame. So we continue the journey. You understand? So join us as we dissect their deceitful tactics and bring their true colours yeah, true colours to the forefront. Brace yourself for the shocking revelations that will undoubtedly challenge your perception of politics. Don't let their deceptive facade fool you any longer. So we are telling you all your PMP criminal um, supporters, P P PMP criminal organisation supporters, don't make Peter Bunting and the others in the PMP criminal organization fool you. You can see the videos now from two different handles. They show the handle where, yeah, uh, telling lies to the man is the, and uh, the labor right is the aggressor. You see the man sitting in him vehicle. Him drive, he drive, he, he drove past Rygin. All right, all right. For a man named Rygin, you know, remember say, the only person we know in a Jamaica near Rygin was the first notorious criminal. That's where they make the movie about the other them come. And they pull them mash him up. Yeah. You understand? So the Rygin and Nong say my Rygin number two. So we don't know how I go mash him up. Cause I'm a troublemaker, you know. Every way I'm going to create problem. So he's a man that been to prison before. You understand? And him is a PMP activist. And him believes about who oh, for your labor right. All kind of things say I'm saying. I don't know how I'm think like that. But you have people in them family who are labor rights too. Yeah. So my brother named Iceberg and all kind you understand and we have a sister who have a business at the same place. So you know, moving on. You understand? So you know that the PMP disguise themselves as a 
as a political party when it's known what it's a criminal entity. You understand? I will tell you, you understand. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by these people. So stay tuned for more provoking, thought provoking content as we delve into corruption and dishonesty within the political lands landscape. So most people in the world, especially in Jamaica, anywhere you live, people normally look to our leaders for honesty and integrity in a world of scarce trust and truth. Yeah, most people don't trust them leaders, uh, you understand, because truth and trust, that's scarce. But what happened when those we trust turned out to be nothing more than a pathological liar, like Peter Bunting? The people that reject him in a, in a uh, Man central Manchester, now them send him gone elsewhere. So they re them they reject him again, because he's a cor he all corabunkers, you understand, snake, wicked man. But you know, him can't, you know, you know, the Lord God of our way of it deal with the wicked. You understand? So meet Peter Bunting. Yeah, man. Meet Peter Bunting, a man who claims to be the epitome of truth. Yet his actions speak otherwise. Because he's the epitome of liar. Of a pathology. He's the epitome of a pathological liar. Believe nothing that comes out of Peter Bunting Mount. Peter Bunting. Uh, it seems like, a, like a, when, when Peter Bunting born. One of the best liars in Jamaica spit in his mouth. That's why the man, he and Mark Golden, that's why they are such liars. But also the PMP is a criminal organization. You know? And if you know an honest criminal, show me one. Or an honest liar, show me one. I have never met them. So, moving on. You understand? You know, so, Bontin aligns himself with known liars. Believe in them. Because they are honest liars or criminals. But, but can we trust someone who associates with those lacking moral compass? No, we can't. But Jamaican people love to trust them, you know. You understand? Especially the the ones them not. Um the speedy Gonzalez. You know, we're not trying to we're just we're not trying to insult people. So we're just making it real over here, yeah. Real mama papa truth. So the speedy Gonzalez, yeah. Easy, easy people them that, you understand? Uh yeah. So if you are a speedy Gonzalez, you know Peter Bunting is your man, so because you know you can't think for yourself because you're you loan out your brain to them. So the evidence speaks for itself. Videographic proof that members of the PMP criminal organization, the, suppose, the supposedly opposition party, are the epitome of liars without an ounce of shame. They have no shame. Look here, catch them in a shame and them. Look here, catch them in lying. Them still just continue and them think that. Boy, I mean, I know. But honestly, if me tell a lie and people find out say me a lie, me shame. But why them guys that now, sir? They not have no shame. You understand? Zero shame. But remember, you know, to associate yourself with liars, you know, you have to be a liar yourself. So embrace lies. So that's why the PMP criminal organization, the label us at the Jamaica Young Police and as a GLP mouthpiece. Them don't say we are they don't say we speak they don't say we are lying, you know. They say we are labor right because we are telling the truth. So what they are telling the Jamaican people that PMP criminal organization supporters and activists and members are liars. So it's as simple as that. Because they cannot say that I am lying. They can't say that yours truly is lying. They don't say we are labor right. So they are the ones that um making it known that they are very they are dishonest and they are liars. You understand? So if you align, yeah, if you sleep with dog, you must get free. So if you if if you if you align yourself with liars, just expect to be told lies. You understand? I just saw it go. So time and time again, they manipulate the truth, the truth, yeah, and all the time. They manipulate the truth, weaving a web of deception to maintain their grip and power. It's time to expose the truth. The shocking lies and corruptions within the PMP criminal organization cannot be ignored any longer so we the people demand accountability and transparency transparency from our leaders don't expect that from the pmp criminal organization because they don't believe in accountability they don't believe in truth they don't believe in honesty decency and abiding to the rule of law not them i am telling you that Our democracy deserves better than these people. Yeah, man. If Jamaican people want to move forward in a different realm, better, 
You can't. Them people have to reject them because they are liar. You can't believe anything. Remember what they have done, you know. You understand what they have done and continue doing. Destroying the lives of Jamaican people, especially the Speedy Gonzalez. As you seen in a video where um, in the same community where I was, where I'm from, yeah, you see a whole heap M16 that them issue in the community in a 2024. Yes, see it. So as you, as you see, you know, so GL, um, GLP Dean Jones provocation by the PMP criminal supporter Wayne Walker is the build up to their violence that they want to scared voters from the voting booth so this is something they plan so him you know i'm welcome i say my pmp activist you know so him knows uh, the m16 them come and them in a jamaica and they issue them to the various communities to kill labor rights and members of the security force so that's why he went there to provoke pro, um to provoke G dean jones the man in i'm green you know remember i was supposed to we had in this side 24 this is 2024 when people are supposed to be civilized, free to do what they want to do, say what they want to say. And this man gone, gone. Um, but um, trouble, um, GLP caretaker, Jones, Dean Jones. Trust me, him for counting stars, Wayne Walker. Yeah, Wayne Walker, Reagan, counting stars because. You know, if I, if it's a, if hey, I can't tell it. If it was some other, if it was some other person. I tell you, say six foot six man, straight to the departure lounge man. You'll have been there with a ticket, non refundable. Yeah, man. And you can't change the flight because once once it once your ticket punch, boop. Yeah, man, straight to the departure lounge. You know, no cancellation. So together we can uncover the truth and create a brighter future. Join us in shining a light on the darkness that has plagued our political system for too long. Yes. We not try to get we we were about to get it back in you know. and February nineteen eighty nine when Michael Mann won the election from then yeah everything has been going down in the abyss now it's kind of a try to come up a try you know it's not there because I remember you know them use deceptive tactics and empower the criminals so that's why the crime you have to have police and soldier there's nowhere else in the world where police and soldier have to be um standing watch for people to sleep. So you know that is a really a feel state in the making. You understand? Because the criminals in Jamaica, they are they know automatic again. A rifle. So boy, eh, honestly, as to me, you know, boy, I applaud my squad of them who are still there serving. Because in this environment, remember, you know, you know, in my time, we I think they have a bulletproof vest. So, you know, and the bulletproof is that these police officers have, the new M16 that these guys have with the rounds them, that the guy from Eater brought in, courtesy of uh, Peter Phillips, uh, Peter Bunting, not Peter Phillips, my bad, Peter Bunting, um, friend, yeah man, Tiliba, yeah man, Tiliba, um, the man from Give Me a Bit, he's the one who responsible for bringing the man to Jamaica with all of the M16 rifle. I want to know, um, um, you know, how, how the government allowed them thing to happen, you know, and then them have two police officers who don't buy Marine, them have more PMP than Michael Manley, so they would do anything with what them party say. Remember, you know, so you understand, you have to have people who are patriots, you can't have political activists working at the ports, because them, them people who are political activists in you know, them they are not they are not for team jamaica you know, they are for party what's in it for me and when people you know about all about that you know no loyalty you no know, exist so moving on so together we can bring about real change you know so to be led by liars one must be prepared to accept lies i just saw it go <laughs> you know that peter bunting and the pmp criminal organization I am telling you because I born and raised among these people. The reason why I speak up because it's only two of us left. You know, out of about 150 of us growing up as youths, you understand? Two, 148, I must say only one somebody was sick and die. I want to name Skellian. Skellian used to up by Willie Agar Yes, Yeah, Skellian him long and... 
Yeah, one thing with him, him know, him man is a blame him know first. Because even when me a police, me see him a Gemini, you know, and fans look about fish and all them things there. And yeah, yeah, fans every day. Doctor fish and one of the nicest fish and them things there. So, you see this is Kelly and all them things there. And him not have to check me for the money. Me just give him my money because I know, me, you understand what I'm saying? And, you know, him feel good. You understand? The younger thing him say, boy, I'm sorry, so him never used to take up him book and them things there. And I'm um, Uncle Skelly and alone, sick and dead. Yeah. So moving on. So as you look now, you see the 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 pathologic the the pathological liar Peter Bunting, and this is how I'm saying, horrified by the video showing Jones in physical altercation. A Jones and a Jones are prov a the proper car, you know, are the are the uh, we and walk and ragging, and you know say a man near ragging, you know say a bad man named that. You understand? So moving on. So yeah, remember you know, to be led by liars one must be prepared to accept lies. It's complex with nuances and counterpoints to count to consider. While it might seem initially true, there are various aspects to address. So blind following if someone unthinkingly and mindlessly blindly follows a known liar, they can do and accept the liar's dishonesty. This passive acceptance could be interpreted as being prepared to take the liar's lie. And that is how the, um, the members of the PMP, the supporters and the members of the PMP criminal party, criminal organization, expect the supporters to act. So that's why when we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel speak the truth now, them say we are labor right. Them don't say we are liar, you know, them can't say we are liar, because we are speak the truth. So that's how we them use uh, silence people because they know what people don't want people afraid of labeling you know. Boy, them afraid people call them say they're my labor right. So they want to say as unbiased. Well look here, I don't care you no. Know. Me not try to do bow no unbiased you know. Me just attack the truth. The real mama papa truth. So me no business you know, if a guy want to say me a labor right. So guy you just tell the 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 the, 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 the world say you are liar. Because you can't say me I am lying. Yeah, so we continue the journey, you understand? So liars they use manipulative tactics. Liars often use manipulative tactics and misinformation to control their followers. And that the PMP have been doing for years. Them lie, them lie, them lie, them lie. Yeah man, big time. Them can't change. It's in them DNA. So we don't know when that Moses is going to come to save the PMP criminal organization. And our next generation, if youths them are the people they want this party for, uh, for become a political party, this entity and change from a criminal, and it's youths. Youths have to do it. You understand? That's why I don't see Damian Crawford at the forefront. You know, Damian Crawford political career pretty much done for now, you know. Because them never give me all Dr. Peter Phillips constituency because I should have get it because he was close to Phil Peter Phillips. Because of the same line when they mash up him career because him speak the truth. Yeah, him speak the truth about in the command that offend the PMP criminal organization because Damien Crawford said to the Jamaican people that Indicom is the reason why murder and criminal and crime is escalating in a Jamaica and them for ban it. Huh? And you know say I saw him fall out to the PMP criminal organization. Not knowing him um, he knew you know, it was a criminal organization, but because he's a rising star and a future leader for the party, he thought that by saying that they would have embraced him and them thing, because that was the first chance I've seen a little change in our party and them. Shut him down and boy from them. Them give um um when I when I dunk and um him see it, you know um yeah, Porsche do it. Yeah man, run the run the poor um Damien Crawford. And from then, he just out there and now he must send it on them thing. But you know, say, yeah, you know, say, them now give me a chance to hold the mic, you know, because he's a very, he's a, the guy is a good um, speaker. Better than all of them. He know, for, he know for make people think and listen to him. Yeah, because you know, say, even at one time, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we asked the boy, based on the things where he said, we say, I in my future at the, the PMP criminal organization. But you can't see them lock him down, you know, because um, for be a part of a leadership and you have to be a member of parliament for become the leader of the party. Or else, yeah, man, yeah, the, the epitome of a pathological liar, Peter Bunting, yeah, man, he would have been, he do that, you understand? But because he's not a member of parliament, he might have to just ride on Mark Golding. So, you know, say, if him win, 
He might challenge Mark Golding because all of them people are you know, dog eat dog, you know. They're not a loyalty, you know. You understand? So people may subconsciously allow themselves to be deceived by staying under their influence. How oh, you feel live like that? Trust and betray betrayal, trusting a liars imply a willingness to accept their statements at face value, even if they contradict evidence or logic. This trust inevitably opens the door to potential lies and betrayal. So all of you people who believe all of the lies where the PMP have been selling for decades and you understand when them embrace criminality, don't expect anything better. Because remember, you know, if you accept if you accept a liars expect to be lied to. That's what liars do. Liars don't speak the truth. And the PMP is a criminal organization. Show me an honest criminal. To be a, um, a criminal, you have to be you have to, you show me you have to be dishonest. And liars are normally dishonest people. That's just so it go. So recognizing and exposing lies, you know. And people, most of the people them, um, critical thinking and skepticism. Even when led by a dishonest person, individual can retain their essential thinking skills and question information. So just like how you see on the video and them thing there, you see the video now for yourself that the man driving and you say Rigan sit on the wall. You still have a belief say a the man trouble Rigan. The man sit down upon the man drive past the man doesn't even slow down him drive past him. So you still believe that? Let me say you are an idiot. You are a fool. <laughs> There's nothing else. I don't know about make the video. This is not Hollywood. A real mama papa truth here say in 11 colors. So you you hand over your brain to them. To the liars them. So you expect. You expect the liars to tell you a lie. So I just saw it go. So that's why they might tell you all of them things. Yeah? You are around it because you are lying yourself. You understand? So recognizing and exposing lies. Not passively, not passively accepting lies can manifest inactively seeking truth and exposing falsehood. People may hold liars accountable, speak out against misinformation and advocate for transparency. And that's what we at Jamaica Young Police Channel have been doing. That's it. So that's the reason why I want to say we are liberal. Because we are speaking the truth and we are not stop. Yeah man, not until we're dead. The truth have to kill we. And we never see truth kill nobody. We say lies kill people all the time. Not truth. A lies kill people all the time. Motivation and context. People can be motivated to follow someone even if dishonest for reasons beyond unquestioningly accepting lies. These reasons could include sheer goals, fears and of alternative or lack of other options. Therefore, the statement is an oversimplification. While choosing to follow a known liar increases the chances of encouraging untruth, it doesn't automatically translate to passive acceptance. Individuals have the agency to resist deception, deception seek truth and challenge dishonest even amidst manipulation and misinformation. Ultimately, the relationship between leaders and followers is multifaceted and unquestioningly accepting lies is just one possible dynamic. Critical thinking, seeking truth and holding leaders accountable are crucial aspects of navigating complex situations where dishonesty might be present. So this type provoking video delves into the intriguing concept of being led by liars and the significance of accepting lies so join us as we explore the ideas that sometimes embracing deception become a necessary part to follow untruthful people so embracing lies to follow liars we uncover the intricate dynamics of deceit and its influence on leadership discover the unsettling truths about the manipulation and falsehood that can shape our decisions and actions. Throughout this eye-opening discussion, we analyze why specific individuals feel complaints to follow leaders when they embrace lies. 
we shed light on reasons behind our willingness to accept deception and its profound impact on society. Furthermore, we provide furthermore we provide insightful examples of historical events and contemporary scenarios where the acceptance of lies has played a pivotal role in molding public opinion. Learn how these instances have shaped our perceptions, values and ultimately our directions as a collective pe as a collective people. So as we navigate the complex subject matter, offering fresh perspective and fostering engaging discussion, take a deeper understanding of why accepting lies is sometimes a prerequisite for follow following liars. So you have to be yeah, so you have to you have to hand over your brain to the liar to accept the lies. So if you have reached this far um, in our video, yeah man, we at the Jamaica Leon we make blog videos about corrupt politicians, corrupt police officers, corrupt judges, gunmen who are parasites to law abiding citizens and the criminal rights groups. Because we believe that corruptors and murderers must live in fear of losing their freedom and lives. So if this is the first time you're at the Jamaica Young Police channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notification. Yes, and if you're not receiving a notification, unsubscribe and subscribe again and select all because I saw it go with YouTube. We don't have any control over what they are doing over there. And you know, uh, whether or not you want to believe in you know, it, sometimes them sabotage um, people channel, you know. Because if you're going against the grill, I have to understand, you know, even them two in our liar, you know, them want, yeah, they might tell us uh, all kind of things. They might tell us, uh, boy, you know, uh, yeah, um, um, Billy, <laughs> you know, Billy can be Billy can be um, Gwen and all this mad, madness. And want to go against them grill, you know, say so you understand them, slow down your challenge, all kind of things. They know for sabotage, especially black people, because you have to understand, you know. We still don't want nothing, you know, because right now, you know, on the black pa platform where, you know, the same, the, the, the same content we are put out, just, yeah. Because if you have a black tube, you know, YouTube done, you know, because you don't know, you know, a black people have the best contents, them, you know, we are telling that, you know. So, you know, say if YouTube, if we have a black tube, trust me, YouTube is a problem. But we don't see, uh, we know we expect, um, like the people them from Saudi Arabia and all these countries, would I invest some money and create a black tube? Yeah, man. Black tube would have kill YouTube. Yeah, man. YouTube would have none exist. And them couldn't sabotage it because black tube, that means that black people that just leave YouTube and go to black tube. Yes, man. And give them a run for their money big time. And, you know, two tools, they would have just shut down just like. Um, you didn't have one, uh, one app. When did it come up? MySpace, yeah. And just like how MySpace gets shut down by um, Facebook. So I see him to happen to with YouTube. So you understand? So not no sacrifice. You, you, you understand? So I just saw it go. So we continue, you know, we continue the journey. Yeah, so as we tell us, uh, if this is your first time, you know, remember to subscribe. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and informative yeah share the video share the video with your friend your boyfriend your girlfriend your neighbor your co-worker your nephew your niece your side chick or your side man yeah man share it with them and tell a friend to tell a friend about the jamaica young police channel that we over here yeah we eat criminal with a passion and we is all about for the law-abiding citizens yes yeah man we eat the corruptors them big time you understand so you can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions to unlock this untap collection of videos. Click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruptions to our channel functionalities. Thank you for your continuous support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. Yeah, we are dedicated to educating and informing our audience about issues facing our beloved country, Jamaica, and people in the diaspora. Our mission is to inspire and encourage you to un unlock 
Jamaica's potential. We believe that knowledge is power. And we share it. And by spreading awareness, we can regain control of our country from the 63 people. Yeah, man. Individuals who have repeatedly failed us when it comes to protecting the nation. One thing that you can count on is the truth and nothing but the truth from the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So stay tuned for more thought-provoking content that challenges conventional wisdom and encourages critical thinking. Remember, remember to subscribe to the, um, the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So, you hear what Peter Bunting says. So we are telling you what um, the, the councillor, um, Dean Jones, says. You know, the GLP councillor candidate says he fear for his life. In the St. Thomas altercation, that's why I pull him gun. Because I two power one in there. Remember, you know, all, all he had to do, you know, from day one, we always said day one, we attack from the man come out him door. All he had to do is just come out and just hug him up and pump two shots in him. Yeah, man, he said, boy, if you come out and I'll just make a kill you. I shot you or something, you understand? Fear, 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 fear. And me, no one jump here if a man tell the same man shoot you, you have to believe him. So you shot him first, you understand? I just saw it go, yeah. Yeah man, and it, the and the camera officer said boy yeah, him get up and I him go trouble the man. So him for count him stars you know. So when a good thing, you know, Jones is a level head person, you know, cause him pull him gun and you see say, you know, him not hesit him, him never hesitate, him just show control and restraint. Cause it could have turned out. Rygin could have be at the departure long. I hear him name Rygin. The last man in a Jamaica near Rygin was a terrorist. And I saw him name, you know, cause this a man who got a prison. More than once, you know. Yeah, man, a convicted criminal. We in Walker, yeah. So, the attorney, attorney at law, Alexander Shah, said his client, Dean Jones, the counselor candidate for Trinityville Division in Western St. Thomas, feared for his life when he pulled what appeared to be a firearm during an altercation on Monday. The incident was captured on video. So, you know, say today are Friday, and you get it on Friday. I'm on there. So the reason why we haven't touched it, we just watch and watch and see, you understand, all of the spin doctors, them and the liars, them. As we tell you already, you know, if you love lies, expect to be led by liars. I just say it go. We don't believe in that, because we are for the truth. So in the now widely circulated video, Jones is captured eating a man clad in red who had approached a vehicle he was seated in. Look here. Jones, uh, the, the manga, uh, can splice them splices now. When jo apparently there was a conversation happening, and Jones come out and uh, vehicle and the man attack him, and I saw you understand. And then, um, Rygin son, the Rasta come and you understand, kick him so he realized, boy, uh, a two power one. So I must back him gun and say, Hey, look here, me waiting up, you know. And I saw them back off and the dread run, you understand. And then after that, um, you can see the video what happened after that and them thing there. So, um, that part of the video, um, we're gonna, you know, when we're through with this, we're gonna repost that part so they, you know, we'll send it to the people, them, and the Patreon members, them, so them can see the other part, you know, in fullness, yeah. But, you know, for YouTube, we have to make sure we duct tight and edit it and make sure it's, you know, presented that's them, not hit the channel, yeah, because you know, them people, I saw them stay, you know, you understand, so. So in a statement to the media, Tuesday, Shah said his client was conducting his lawful business when he was physically attacked by a person unknown to him. Shah said the alleged attack caused Jones to sustain serious injuries and be placed in an imminent fear for his life. Aware of mounting threats to his person, our client took defensive action to de-escalate the situation. He therefore reported the matter to the St. Thomas police who are currently carrying out an investigation. The statement from Shah said, This encounter was very traumatic for Mr. Jones, and against that background we urge the public not to only respect his privacy in this difficult time, but also resist the attempt to politicize the matter, it added. So yeah, so it, it, like I say on politics and anything, so we don't know what it is, but IPMP come out and I say politics. So the gleaner could not reach the head of the St. Thomas Police Division, Superintendent Allison Byfield to confirm whether the matter was being investigated. However, the Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communication Unit said the police knew about the incident. The 50 second long video, which appeared to be spliced, began with a woman counting what appeared to be money by the passenger window 
of the white motor vehicle. Immediately after a man wearing a t-shirt approached the vehicle on the driver's side where Jones was seated with the door open. A tussle ensued ensue before Jones was captured hitting the man who had collared him. So the man collared Jones and Jones had to defend himself. So everything where Jones did was within the ambit of the law. So the man a law abiding citizen. A second man clad in a black t-shirt and orange hat, a turban that approaches the unknown man, man's assistance, kicking Jones. The counter can back off while pulling what appeared to be a firearm before veering out of the video. The altercation continues with the man clad in red, however this time it is another man clad in green. A third man also in green joined Jones in the fracas before the two overpowered the man in red. Jones then appears in the footage with a female passenger by de-escalate the altercation. Meanwhile, in a statement, this man in the opposition people's National Party criminal organization accused Jones of being the aggressor in the incident. And as you can see, yeah, if your eyes can't fool you, then you know say you're a liar. And you can't see say a rigging, a way and walk start the problem. So the party described the incident as alarming and disturbing. When their supporters started the problem with Dean, you can see it for yourself. According to the PMP, Jones confronted the man in front of his business place, allegedly the man in removal of an orange shirt and armband associated with the party. The situation escalated to violence as Jones assaulted the man, the PMP claimed. If that is not what you see on the video. So he show yourself, tell you, say them a criminal, you know. it's a criminal organization. Yeah, all of them, them when them ban doctors, um, it's a liar spitting on them out, that's why them so lie. So we are telling you now, so, you know, the truth surrounding the shocking lies and corruption that exists within the PMP criminal organization. In this eye open expose, we uncover the disturbing reality of deceit and manipulation that revolve around PMP criminal organization prominent figure peter bunting as you prepare your, as you have seen and witnessed the undeniable evidence that paints peter bunting as a epi the epitome of a pathological liar it is astonishing how he easily believes and support other notorious liars simply because they do not possess the same level of honesty or a criminal minded nature we presented irrefutable videographic evidence that exposed the PMP as a criminal organization by, led by individuals with no shame regarding deceit. As the video progresses, you witness the alarming extent to which the PMP criminal organization member go to maintain their facade, their facade of virtue. The internal workings of this organization are rife with corruption, making it clear that truth and integrity had no value to them. None. So as we shed light on the dark on the belly of the PMP criminal organization, brace yourself for revelations that will leave you questioning the credibility and morality of those entrusted with public service. It's time to expose the truth and all these corrupt individuals accountable. So stay tuned for an in-depth investigation into the web of lies and deception perpetrated by the PMP criminal organization and Peter Bunting. Prepare to be stunned as we reveal the shocking truth that has been hidden for far too long. Please take advantage of this must watch video that challenges the integrity of the PMP criminal organization and its members. The truths await. So at the Jamaica Young Police and I will tell you now, only thing you get at the real mama papa truth. So those are few PMP um criminal organization members who have been, you know, um typing in the comment about the video say, um, oh well you know send it about the, vi the, the video. So now you're here now for yourself. Um if Wayne Walker had uh, encountered somebody totally different, like all a man like with my training and my thinking, you mean or another person. Him gone straight out of the patch along. So him for thank thank Mr. Jones for sparing his life. Cause Mr. Jones when him came out, when Mr. Jones came out of the vehicle, all Mr. Jones had to do was to hug him up and send him straight to the patch along. 
Yes, remember say him you know, him come in if you come rob the man him gun. I just simple as that. Since as them he understand, I just saw it go. Cause none of us could hear what was tra- what transpired between both men. So th- there it is. So those of you who ask, now you get it. Real mama papa truth. And we have no time to pet powder pamper men baby. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.